After releasing the e-stop, we have a power on indicator light. There's also a spark out pass light which will turn on during spark out passes. To the right we have the chuck control, off, on, D-Max cycle, intensity of the chuck, D-Max timer. Y-axis display, mode display, rough feed display. We also have five different modes. First mode, total amount of material to be removed. Second, a rising point. Third, amount of material to be removed by fine feed. Fourth is not used. And five is gonna be our starting grinding point. We also have some keys here. Our first one, set, is gonna allow us to change the value during mode. We could also press it again to scroll between the numbers. Plus and minus keys are gonna allow us to change the number. Mode enter is gonna accept that value. Y0 is gonna zero out the Y axis for a zero part. Y is gonna allow us to input a value manually. This counter is for our rough feed. It can be set from one to 59 microns. Fine feed from one to nine. This knob here, when turned to the left and during automatic grinding mode, it would only down feed on the outer limit. When set to the right, it will down feed on the outer and the inner limit. This switch here is gonna determine the number of spark out passes from zero all the way to nine. This switch here, when set on the first position, is gonna allow us to move the spindle up and down on rapid with these two buttons here, up and down. When it's set to the second position, it'll move the spindle up and down in a slow feed. Third position is not used. Fourth position will allow the table automatic movement. Fifth position is gonna be for automatic surface grinding. We also have an off and an on for these two cycles. We also have this button that's gonna be rapid down to zero. Hand wheel, selector for the hand wheel, and increments. The hand wheel will only work on the four setting automatic table movement. Have these two buttons here, up and down, with the first two modes, rapid or feed. We also have our cross feed, cross feed in, cross feed out. We could adjust the speed of the cross feed. This button is gonna allow us to set the limits for automatic grinding, inner and outer. Rotating table on and off. These two counters refer to the rotating speed of the cross feed when going in and the cross feed going out. A must always be greater or equal to B. Jog button for the rotating table. On and off for the spindle. On and off for the coolant. When we're ready to grind our workpiece, the first thing we need to do is find the travel limits. The first one we find is the outer limit. Cross feed out. Once the piece has cleared, we press and hold set plus cross feed out. Hear a beep. Next, we find the inner limit. Once it has cleared, press and hold set plus in. To confirm these limits, we can go to automatic table move and press cycle start. Now the cross feed should be bouncing between those two limits. If it's correct, we can stop. Next, we're gonna input values to our grinding modes. The first one, we're gonna input how much stock is gonna be removed from our material. Press set. We can scroll with the same button. Plus or minus. 
We're going to take 0.1 millimeters of stock. Press enter to accept the value. Press enter one more time to scroll to the next mode, number two. This is going to be a rising point after grinding. We're going to leave it at 10 millimeters. Press enter one more time. Number three. This indicates the amount left for fine feeds. We're going to leave it at 0.02 millimeters. Or it can be changed. Next mode number four is not used. Number five indicates our starting grinding point. We're going to leave it at 0.01. To find part zero, we move the switch to the fourth position, automatic table movement, we turn on our hand wheel, and we touch off the part. Once we have touched off, we zero out the axis. We can set it to down feed on inner and outer limit, or just on the outer limit. Set it for both. Two spark out passes. Put this to automatic surface grinding mode, fifth position. Rotary table on, spindle on, cycle start.